Robo Taxi is uh, coming. Is it going to make you a fortune or is it going to make you broke or is anyone going to participate at all? Let's get into some numbers. I got big monster math here. It is time to break down the numbers that I see and you can help me refine them. We may do a follow up. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. So this is a big topic. I've seen a lot of people model this. I've seen people say you're going to get $3 a mile. I've seen people say you're going to pay 15 cents a mile. It's all over the place. But let's take some assumptions and run with them. Apologies for the mild ugliness of the chart, but that is just how it goes. FSD. Oh, yeah. That's the name of this talk. FSD's nuts. So here we go. Let's start with the purchase price of your new robo taxi. Ah, of course. The cost of your new robo taxi 42109 uh, i took the base model rear wheel drive and just added eight percent to the purchase price sales tax it's going to cost more than that things like registration but we'll get into that in a minute now we've got maintenance i'm saying over a hundred and fifty thousand miles five years that's the assumption five years hundred and fifty thousand miles maintenance just 1800 i figured that's just three sets of tires let's go as low and generous as we can we can always adjust it up later to make a clearer picture lifespan 150,000 miles so just the cost of the vehicle the real cost 29 cents a mile so right there you're not going to be robo taxiing it out for less than 29 cents a mile you can't it's not how it works but you do have to charge it the lowest price I can find, realistically, about $0.09 cents a mile. Public charging is the most expensive, about $0.50 cents a mile. I've seen higher than $0.50. Cents. It's not common. I've seen lower than $0.09, cents, also uncommon. And especially if this is going to be out all day while you're not paying attention and it's just racking up miles. When it comes home, if you want to drive it, you can't have it charging all day. There's going to be some public charging in the mix. And a lot of residential rates are more like $0.25 cents anyway, meaning... Um, and now we're talking efficiency here. Model 3, you might get four miles to the kilowatt. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, Model Y, you're going to be closer to three. Uh, depends how you drive. A robo taxi, hopefully, is going to be gentle. But uh, so anywhere from two cents to 17 cents a mile. That's not too bad. For a real cost, uh, plus the charging, 32 to 46 cents. We're just going to split the difference and say 39 pennies a mile. You're not going to charge less than 39 cents a mile unless you really really hate money which i guess is possible so let's look at some of our ongoing costs we have registration which is going to be you know 400 a year i looked up the average i could find about 400 bucks a year two grand over the five year period that adds that brings us up to 40 cents is that right this plus because it's a penny a mile 2000 yes about a penny a mile yeah that's right then we've got insurance. Uh, how much is that going to be? Well, it depends. You know, I'm paying about 100 bucks a month, but I'm not using it in a commercial capacity, and I'm not doing that many miles, at least according to the assumptions of my insurance company. So I'm just saying 200 bucks a month. I think that's quite reasonable. I think it'll be more than that. I think this is a low-end estimate for 12000 Now we're at $0.47. Cents. It's not great. Um, cleaning, 3,600, 3,600 a year. Yeah. It's only 300 bucks a month. That's only 10 bucks a day. Even if you're cleaning it yourself, 10 bucks a day is pretty, pretty reasonable. If you're going to have a service doing it for you, even 20 bucks a day would be quite reasonable. And that would double this figure for an annual of 18,000. Uh, anyway, we're getting up there. It's getting, uh, quite a bit for the five year 18. So that gives us a total of now we're at 60 cents a mile. Hmm. That's okay. So we can't charge less than 60 cents a mile, but we've got more assumptions to make. We haven't put the FSD on it yet. Now there's a few ways you can do the FSD. Of course you can do it, uh, up front, which gives you a five year cost of 8,000, a cost per mile, five pennies, not too bad. Uh, you could do 100 bucks a month, which is what it currently is. That'd be 6000 even better deal, $0.04 cents a mile. Uh, but there's a lot of speculation that once this is feature complete, level 4, level 5, it's going to cost more. I've heard people say 200 I've heard people say 400 I've seen people say it'll be five, 600 bucks. So let's just unwind all of those. That'd be twelve grand or $0.08, cents, twenty-four grand or $0.16, cents, 
and so on. 24 cents. That puts us at 84 cents a mile if we're using this assumption. That's real tough. That's real tough. So anything less than 84 cents a mile, you're losing money. So that would be cost to riders. Uh, if you are at uh, 75 cents, that'd be 112,000 you're making over the life of it. You would net 12 grand. How did I do this? So this net is at uh, assuming only 64 cents a mile. So what did I leave out? My gosh. Yeah, 60. And then this, I guess, five four cents. The most generous assumption. 60 plus four pennies. That's what it was. So if we go to a dollar, now it's looking a little bit better. Making almost a thousand bucks a month. Two dollars, it starts getting exciting. And three dollars, I've seen that number bandied about as well. 70,000 a year. Now you're talking. It's pretty good. But this still assumes that we're at doing the four penny and not the 24 penny. That would eat into your costs, uh, your profits, ridiculously. But there's a missing upside and a missing downside. Why don't we go through those? What am I not including? The residual value of the vehicle. After 150000 it's not worth zero. It is worth, I don't know, five grand, ten? Who knows? That's tough to say. It's impossible to know the amount of abuse a taxi will take without a human in it to say, hey, could you please stop doing that? And sure, you can bill it back to people, but that's an imperfect system and the damage has lasting impacts. And depending on the roads, this car could be pretty rattled by the end of it. If you've got a lot of potholes in your area, which I know a lot of areas do, but there is some residual value at the end of it. The tax write-off is the big one. If you're talking 65 cents a mile, uh, that's a whole lot of income you're going to be writing off over the course of it. Um, there are advantages to this. This will add to your bottom line, quite possibly. Missing downsides, here we go. You're going to have repairs. Um, no matter how well built the car is, it's going to have repairs. And those cost money. And a lot of those repairs you will never get back from a rider, and you definitely won't get back the repair time, uh, which is the real killer. But the biggest killer I've left out is the unpaid miles. If it goes out for 300 miles tonight and comes back in the morning, it did not log 300 paid miles. It has to get to the fair. There's the distance between fares. I mean, it could be half the miles are unpaid. But uh, that's something you can consider for yourself. And I imagine a lot of people who would try this out would say, well, you know what, I'm gonna try with just my car just once in a while and see how it goes. And if it goes well, they'll add to their fleets. But thinking this is just going to be a panacea out of the gate is missing a lot. And if we were to change the, um, the net figures to not be 64 cents, but more like, uh, what do we say, 84 cents, um, you get upside down in a hurry. <laughs> Losing money making very little. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That eats it all up. Now you're at 64,800 while still charging $3 a mile at $3 a mile. It will lower adoption. Uh, $3 a mile. I'm, uh, you know, maybe a mile, two miles from the grocery store. Um, I think I'm about a mile from the grocery store. If my car was out of commission, I would walk it, but I'm not going to pay $6 round trip. I don't think. And to get to the mall three miles away, four miles away, I'm not paying eight times three, 24 bucks round trip. Not a chance. If it's a buck, I would do it. But $24 is, is getting there. It's too expensive. So you've got a lot to think about here. But yeah, FSD is nuts. It is crazy. Mm -hmm. So uh, these are the calculations I'm looking at. I know Brian Wang has done some others that are very good. I know CERN Basher has done some that are very good. I would invite both of those gentlemen on, perhaps all three of us at once, to discuss some of these assumptions. Uh, if you are a CERN Basher or a Brian Wang and you are watching this, by all means, get in touch with me. Otherwise, I'd have to get in touch with you, and that requires clicking and typing. And haven't I done enough of that today already? What did I miss? What did I misunderstand? Leave it all into them in the comments below, and stay tuned, stay juicy, and I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the next one.